up you guys it's Megan and today we are checking out the Sims 4 jungle adventure game pack and I'm so excited because it reminds me a lot of world adventures from the Sims 3 which you guys might know of if you guys are longtime Sims players I thought I would kind of do an overview video sometimes I do these sometimes I don't I'm not using face cam in case you know new people come in and they want to just kind of see the game they don't want to see me that's why that's happening also um you guys might see up here in the top corner my some of my options menus they are kind of messed up because of this newest update. I do have a mod in my game right now that's kind of making it go wonky from the new update. So I have to try to fix that. So let's get started. The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure and it says venture to Selvarado. Your Sims can try traditional foods, dance to new music. Oh my god, did I just read that like a robot? Your Sims can try traditional foods and dance to new music, practice native customs, and shop for authentic decor. Dress your Sim in local fashion from outfits full of colorful patterns to durable clothing suitable for the jungle. Discover the hidden temple. Venture deep inside the mysterious rooms where Sims may find priceless relics, great treasures, or doom. Have your Sims visit again where they will experience new challenges and uncover different treasures and traps. Explore the jungle. Sims gear up in hiking attire to prepare for the danger they trek deep into the jungle, revealing hidden pools, ancient artifact sites, and ruins. Beware of the natural dangers and obstacles from deadly bees and poisonous spiders. Collect ancient artifacts. Sims can excavate and examine these precious objects closely um, at the archaeology table, determining their quality but determining their quality, but watch out for ones that are fake. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of cute little screenshots of like the archaeology tool, maybe something that was inside of a temple with a relic and a man talking to a little skeleton friend. Um, a beautiful rainbow. I wonder if there's going to be rainbows in the game or if this is just kind of edited. <laughs> I would love to see rainbows in the games. And then we have the market of Selvarado. So this is all very exciting stuff. We're going to quickly do um, a little cast overview, maybe a small build overview. And then we're going to get into the game. As you guys can see, we have a brand new little adventure thing popping up here because it used to be the Sims 4 pets because I had that. But now it's different. So we're going to click new game because I want it to be completely new. Oh my gosh, and this is all messed up too. Oh, okay, what so we're back. I took say? off my mods since I wasn't sure what was messing with everything. Uh, we are gonna start with just a sim that I've already made because I'm particular about faces and stuff. Of course, all the CC was removed, but that's okay because we're gonna be taking a look at some of the new stuff. I guess first we can actually start over here. It looks like we might have a new knowledge aspiration. Archaeology scholar, the sim wants to understand archaeology. And family is this one new okay so just one new aspiration um they want to do that and then they become a quick learner so i don't know if there's any new emotions traits whatever you want to call these i'm not spotting anything off the bat um hmm nope you would think that they would add like adventurous like your sim always wants to go on an adventure or something so that's kind of strange i guess we will make her pretty cheerful we can make her love the outdoors and um let's just make her outgoing i don't want anything too interfering to go on so let's see what we have here in the ways of new hair <clears throat> toddler laundry day no wait we gotta go to game packs jungle adventure so it appears we have a couple new hairstyles this is so cute oh my gosh it's like a little um little bob <gasps> Oh my god, Sims, look at you, look at you. Oh my god, these are so beautiful. Oh, I love these. <gasps> oh, I think they've taken some kind of hints from CC because I've definitely seen CC that does this before. Um, and then it looks like we have this little updo. I've seen this one in the trailers. Uh, very nice, the bandana changes colors with whichever one you pick. As you can see, you have a lot of options here. Oh, and then one with a patterned bandana. Which is fun. Little, I don't want to say it's a little lazy, but um, I guess I should be grateful that we're getting four hair. Oh, and then they have this one with a giant ombre. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, oh my god, it's so rainbowy. So beautiful. Uh, okay, well, I like these a lot. I like these m more than I liked this one, but they're all, they're both like really nice. So let's see. I guess we could probably get a new hat. Um, I have to always pick which pack we're on. 
so I don't get it twisted. So we have this nice little adventure hat. It has a cute little bow in the side, which I think is really cute. And then kind of this Curious George type of hat. They come in many colors, pinks, oranges, blues, greens, which I love. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Um, <clears throat> and then we can move on to the accessories, if there are any. Let's go ahead and go to packs. Jungle Adventure. Okay, so no new accessories. But what about makeup? I doubt that they would add any makeup. They rarely add makeup into the game. Um, it's just kind of, yeah. It's not really a big deal to them, which I get. So let's go ahead and move on to the styled looks because I know we get a few of these. I don't want to change the hair though. So I guess I'll just click into this dress. So you get a couple new um, try the styles for every single uh, uh -huh. expansion of course Diamond. I accidentally clicked it oh it didn't change our hair color though that's nice um oops <laughs> best simmer walkthrough and then another one adventure that's seeker so cute I like how the jeans uh -huh. don't go all the way down no oh my gosh there's so many styled looks here that's gonna be great for people like my boyfriend who don't like Nubby. dressing their that's sims okay and this is from the laundry day pack so I didn't click on this uh -huh. one yet Oh, these patterns are adorable. Yes, so cute. So let's check out what we have going here with the tops. First, I want to put on some pants because I know... Oh, mm, these are so cute. Okay, sorry. Don't get distracted, Megan. So first, we have a little floral ruffle top. Very cute. Um, it looks like the flowers change with whichever color scheme you pick. We have this very cute top. I like this one a lot. It's just a simple like tank top type of deal. It has a deep V in the front and the back. I think it's very nice and creative. I'll probably end up using that a lot, especially the solid color ones. Why does the Sim have such big boobs? Let's just <laughs> make this a little bit more normal. We have an explorer's vest here equipped with lots of pockets for all of your machetes and potions. Um, another kind of ruffly top, very cute. Mm, not my favorite, but it's very cute. It's just kind of plain and kind of unshapely. Oh, this is adorable. This kind of looks like something I wore whenever I was had a school uniform. Like a little adventurer top, a little button down. Very nice. It's very um, fitted. And then we have this, which I think is adorable. I actually wear something like this in real life. Oh my god. This is going to be my favorite. I love this top and they come in so many different colors i will give the sims team that they gave us a lot of swatches with this pack very exciting so let's go ahead and put on maybe this light blue one time to go to the pants so let's go ahead and go to packs jungle adventure and so we have four new bottoms we have this skirt which is very cute i like it i don't see my sim wearing it a lot though i like it but i don't know i don't know how often i will be using it because midi skirts aren't really my thing for sims we have this pair of shorts which i am assuming i will use very often because look how dang cute they are oh my gosh yes so cute adorable adorable and then we have these very fashionable um capris or pants i don't know what they're called capris anymore in this day and age where they kind of go to the ankle and you have a little belt with a with a little gold ring loop <gasps> look at that pocket detail you guys yes yay thank you so cute yeah. oh my god i love this outfit it's coming together guys okay moving on and then we have a pair of like modern cargo pants it's like they were slacks and then we added a pouch to the side. They also come in a lot of fun, bright colors. I love this. I love the bright colors added into the game. I think that they were such a good idea. But today we're going to go with um, these, these white pants right here. Wait, no, where were they? These. Let's go ahead and add a second <gasps> outfit. <laughs> What is this? Okay. Um, and go to the full body items. So let's scroll down to Jungle Adventure. Looks like we got two new dresses. This one's adorable. It's very simple, very chic. You can have it in all ruffles, all colors. Um, I like the ones that are gradients, but I also really like the ones with the patterns. Um, very cute. I wish that you could add a belt to it though. And then we also have this kind of um, dress for jungle adventures. I don't know why you'd wear a dress to go jungle adventuring, but this is also yeah. still very cute. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's see what we have in the ways of accessories. Packs, 
jungle adventure. It looks like we have some cool new bracelets. They come in three different colors. I like those. And then we have some leggings, which come in a good amount of gold or bold patterns, not gold patterns. That's really cute with the floral on the side. Um, so we have some Aztec patterns, tribal stuff, um, geometric and floral. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. I think that's probably everything except for the shoes, so we can check that last. Let's go to Pax Jungle Adventure. Okay, so it looks like we got a pair of boots that tie around the angle for extra security. I like those. I think they are good. And now let's go ahead and check out to see if there's any other items that we can look at. Okay, it looks like we got a couple new toddler shirts. I've turned off the feminine, so basically we're going to have boys and girls, so we don't have to go through all genders, because <laughs> they're probably going to be different, or the same, the same for toddlers, probably. So it appears, let me take off the hats. Do they get a new hat? So there's no new hair for babies. That's fine, I didn't expect there to be. But it appears that we get this cute little bird top. Oh, we could have a flower, a llama, this little tropical leaf pattern, a butterfly, a sunshine. So basically what I'm getting is this is a graphic tee with many different wearing options. I like that. And then we have kind of what appears to be a soccer jersey um, for some Sims team. And this also has a lot of very fun, bright colors. I like those a lot. Probably nothing informal, nothing in any of those. Do you get new shorts? No, nope, no new shorts and no new full body for the toddlers. Moving on to the children, um, it appears that we have no new jungle adventure hair. We do get a new hat. It is a llama beanie. Um, I guess if it gets cold in Salvador, Sal Salvarado, oh, I can't remember the name, um, but I don't think it'd get cold there because it kind of looks like a, a summer, a summer place. We appear to have some new vests, um, so these could be probably for male or female. I'm assuming that this was made for the little girls, but of course you guys can do whatever you want. You know, no judgment here. So we have a few new tops. These are very cute. Ooh, I like this one with the bright patterns. And we have another soccer jersey, which you guys just saw on the toddlers. And then we have this cute cardigan with a scalloped top showing off some bold graphic patterns of birds. Very cute. As for full body, we don't have anything. And for pants, we don't have anything. For accessories, we don't have anything. And for shoes, nothing. Let's go ahead and move on to the teenager. The teenager will probably have pretty much all of the same items. Um, I wasn't able to click in, wait, what are these? These two, okay, so is this just teenager? Because I didn't see these. Maybe it's for quote unquote masculine. This doesn't look masculine to me though. I'm confused. Did I miss some stuff here? I don't know. We'll just go over it. So basically what I missed, and I don't know if this is just for teenagers or anything like that. Fix the posture. Um, so this is a cute little graphic t-shirt. It actually kind of looks like it's more embroidered. And you don't have the scallops anymore. Now you have the kind of pokey material. <laughs> um, we looked at those. Here is a vest underneath a kind of a button down shirt. Very nice. I like those patterns. Uh, and then we also have this llama cardigan with more graphic bold patterns, which might match with the hat. We also have this shirt, which is um, another adventure pack, kind of similar to this one. But I guess this one is more of a masculine uh, build. Same with this shirt, more loose fitting, more relaxed. Um, but another button down with bright patterns. Ooh, this one's fun. I like this one. And then we have kind of a jogger, like a sweatshirt with a bunch of more fun, exciting bold patterns. Very nice. I doubt we have any new pants. I guess we have these, 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 I don't know. Some, some, the male pants are kind of boring in my opinion. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. We still have the bracelets and stuff that's not new, and then the boots. Okay, um, and I'm assuming, yeah, we got all that. So let's see if there's anything new for elders, but probably not, because you know it's usually just all the same. Looks all the same there, all the same there. I didn't see if there was any, um, I guess they didn't add any outfits for boys or men or whatever, the masculine object. So guys, I think that pretty much covers the cast. It was very relaxed, a very relaxed look. So now we're going to head into the game and kind of see what we can do.
so I'm not immediately seeing the new um, neighborhood we can go to, which is telling me that it's probably going to be um, a world that you can visit. So let's go ahead and head to Potter's Play. You know, nothing crazy. We're gonna make ourselves rich so that I can afford, okay, oops. So I can afford whatever crazy adventures we're gonna go on. It's probably more than enough money. <clears throat> so let's take a look at these uh, aspiration levels. So the first one is trial technician. Excavate three dig piles or excavation sites. Uncover artifact from dirt clump. Second one, achieve level four the archaeology skill. Survey for a dig pile. Authenticate three artifacts. Then we need to achieve level seven of the archaeology skill. Establish three excavation sites and find authentic five excellent quality artifacts. And then achieve level 10 of the archaeology skill, which confirms it is a level 10 skill, um, not a level 5 like some skills are. Write a good archaeology skill book and give a successful archaeology lecture. Oh my gosh, I'm like looking at this and I'm already knowing it's what I'm going to have to do for my sim in the Super Sim Challenge. <laughs> so we're going to click travel because I'm assuming it's going to be like the outdoor pack and you're going to have to go on vacation. Can I do that? I think I need to plan a vacation. Yes. So let's go to our phone and we can click, um, I thought it would be, oh, take a vacation. My bad. And here it is, the brand new icon pack. Very, ooh, look, a rainbow, very cute. Um, the sun is setting there. It looks very tropical, but also kind of like a savanna, but I know it's not. Oh, and there's even a little rainbow on the map. So as I'm kind of sitting here, you see these question marks that are lighting up. I'm wondering if those are the temples you can discover. There's the jungle. Um, and then here's the town. So basically, we have the Hillview Hideaway. Oh, okay. So this is 228 simoleons a day. This one's 600. So these are the places you could stay, the villas. Uh, and that's a museum. We have a bar. We have what looks like a park. Um, another rental. And then is this a rental? A jungle bungalow cute oh my god for like a couple that's adorable um then you discover the jungle secrets so it looks like there's also one down here so let's go ahead and go to the one that is maybe um 618 simoleons a day it's kind of in the middle let's rent it for i don't know i don't know how long this little tutorial is gonna take so here we are on one of the lots <gasps> this looks like a new plant does it not oh my gosh Cute, 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 cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm dying. I love tropical plants, you guys. And I wish that I could build in here, but I can't. Oh my gosh. And look at all these wallpapers. I should have went into the build mode um, first, but I didn't because I am I suck. I suck. I'm sorry. What is this? Purchase garlic seeds. Okay, so that's a planter. I'm trying to see if there's any sort of archaeology sites. As you guys can see, we have some new beds here. Oh my gosh. I love these tiles so pretty oh my gosh and look we got a new mirror it looks like we have a lot of new stuff going on here so that's amazing and great and i am excited about that <gasps> guys a rainbow we have a rainbow and then oh my gosh look at this this little scene is so cute it's like a little park where your sims can hang out at now we're just exploring some of these lots over here what is this is this um that's the bar that you could go to um okay then I don't think we can really go anywhere else. I'm trying to look for excavation sites, but I'm not really seeing anything. Um, they have nice little planters over here. I'm wondering, normal potato. I'm just seeing if there's any new plants. Um, but I'm not seeing any, and I think that they probably would have already listed it. And what are these? Are these little cabbages? Are those? Can you place these? I have many questions. So let's go ahead and go on an adventure. So it kind of looks like the marketplace is outside of this bar. I know we were just at this bar, but whoopsies. I guess we have to actually travel to it maybe to see the market. So here we are at the bar. It's a very cute bar. Kind of reminds me of the Rattlesnake Inn um, in the kind of strange town setting. And over here we have what appears to be some items for sale. So we have Liquid Rush, packed full of energy. Um, all right, so you can, that's an energy drink, Drake's Fire Quencher, aw, oh, like Amanda Drake, maybe. Aw, super cool ingredients distinguish the aggression of heat created Salvadorian instincts, allowing you to avoid searing or irritation. You can't buy that. So let's come over here. Let's view the inventory. 
Wait, what is this? I just ha I own a machete already. Where did I get that? Where did I where did I get a machete? All right, what does this guy have for sale? Looks like he has some dolls, some bait, bat bait. We have some water. Um, I guess we could only purchase some of the bait. Oh, we could purchase some water. Let's buy a doll, some bait. Let's see some grilled cheese ready to eat. What is this? Forty dollars? Did this say this is forty dollars? Forty dollars! Oh my gosh! And some spider repellent. Um, so we're just gonna be buying a few of this guy's items over here. Really stocking up. I still don't understand where we where we got the machete from. So let's see. Let's check out the, some of the new foods. Now I'm not gonna try to read these empanadas. Um, platanos. I am very white. And uh, I got a C in Spanish. So uh, I'll let you guys read these names here. I don't know if any of these are vegetarian safe for your Sims. But who knows? The Sim is very cute. I love her hair. Rocking that. Um, Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack stuff. What is this little statue over here? Let's view it. Let's check it out. See what it is. Nice. Is this me learning about the culture? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, Salvadorian culture skill acquired. Awesome. So we have that skill and then we have the archaeology skill. Let's see if we can kind of adventure. I think we have to like find these places on our own. So we might actually have to go into the jungle. So we already got some of the items that we need. So let's head out. It appears that we have to start at this park and then we can slowly adventure through all of the temples. Let's see here. Oh, I'm, I'm spotting this new plant right here. These might be new too. Uh, I'm hoping that we got a lot of new plants. Like, obviously, I think these are new trees even, which is nice. Why are you laying down? Don't do that. So, all right. Clear path with hands, clear path with a machete. I wonder what you want to do. Let's read the poisonous awareness sign, read preparation checklist, make sure we can get everything that we need um, from the jungle. Because, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to do anything bad. Caution, in case of poisoning, please consult with local sims for antidotes. Uh. What? Uh, it's important to prepare uh -huh. for the many dangers lurking in the jungle with the right adventure gear. Check out the marketplace vendors. Well, I have a few of those things. Um, travel. Wait, no, I don't want to go. We're, we're going to just... <laughs> I have to talk to locals, I guess, to kind of make sure I know antidotes. Okay, so I already viewed the statue. Is this a local? I'm just going to assume... Friendly introduction. I don't know who the locals are. It doesn't say like local above their head. I don't know if they're new townies that hang out in the town. Uh, purchase archaeology table. Oh, I could purchase an archaeology table from this guy. That's good. Um, let's talk about our dreams. Ask about the jungle. Discuss local heritage. Um, those are some cool interactions. Cho chat about local sites. Um, saw that one. <laughs> Ask about jungle. Okay, so those are the three new interactions we have. Excursions into the jungle and take all day and all night. Make sure you stock up on supplies like grilled cheese ready to eat or a can of liquid rush. When you get hungry or lower energy, you'll be glad you have them. Did I buy any of that? I didn't buy any of that, I don't think. Um... So we're asking about the jungle. Ask about new stock. I don't know what that is. By exploration surprise. Let's ask about the new stock, I guess. See what he's got. Um, here we are. We're bonding with this man. Okay, but I'm not seeing anything else. It's important to prepare. Okay, so we've already seen that. So we're still kind of asking this guy. I wonder if you can... Um, is there any other interactions? If you, if you don't see what you want, check back later. Our inventory changes in a few days' time. Funny. Don't see anything new there. Don't see anything new there. Maybe there's something mean. Shout for Benoit, Jellico, and Salt. Okay, so I don't really see anything. Oh, and what is this? What is this? This beautiful flower is treasured by the people of Salve. It's invulnerable as division in all forms. It's a diversion, so I guess we'll buy the flower because that looks good. We also need to buy some energy stuff. Are these baskets? I can buy a basket. Hey, this basket kind of looks like one of the custom content baskets I had. Oh, and then we can buy some of these dolls. What are you doing in the way? Wait a second. This kind of looks like Amanda Drake, doesn't it? Doesn't it? 
<laughs> I can't buy any of these liquid rush because nobody is starting the sale. Oh, wait, this guy has some. Oh my god, there are a hundred simoleons apiece. I'm glad I stocked up on the jungle before we ended up coming. So let's go ahead and buy all of our supplies. This is very reminiscent of the Sims 4. That's definitely a tourist. That's a tourist. Is this guy a local? Why is he wearing a sweater? It looks really warm here. You'd think if he was local, he would know that he probably doesn't need a sweater. Okay, so we're discussing the local heritage. We're discussing some of the sites. Um, I don't know if anything is going to come out of this. Like, I don't know if we're getting... Oh, there are many things to juggle up poison you. We have developed a cure, but it requires bone dust to make. If you find yourself poisoned, bring a pile of bone dust to any local and trade for a poison antidote. Good to know. Great. So let's go ahead and take our first adventure into the jungle. <clears throat> okay here we are back at it let's try to clear the path with our hands and kind of see what interaction we get obviously that's not correct looks painful oh we got the gardening skill though that's good um it probably just takes a while i don't know if you get a negative aspiration for like ouch this hurts so now let's try clearing it with a machete and see if that's much faster so we're hacking it up you know we're doing machete things little dangerous actually look at her she's a <laughs> she looks like a killer but this is going much faster than it was with doing it with the hands so it appears we've cleared a path but i'm gonna have my some wait did she go in oh my gosh what is this black panther while trekking through the jungle, Kitty stumbles upon a jaguar that seems to be stalking something on the edge of the lake. Should she sneak away or observe? Um, higher fishing skill leads to better results. Consuming plasma bat bait. Let's help the jaguar, I guess. Kitty moves closer to the jaguar, observes watching it as some fish in the lake. Some of the fish leap out of the water to catch flies. She decides to help a jaguar by releasing some flies. Unfortunately, the flies also attract a pack of bats, which end up scaring the jaguar away. The jaguar leaves behind its catch. So does that mean we got a fish? Spooky. Where are we? Uh-oh. How do I get home? I'm already lost. Uh. But we did get... Oh, we got an armored catfish? And an electric eel. That's fun. Can I come back and use the bathroom? Oh, we, we went. Okay. Okay. So it appears we have a few options of places we can go to. <gasps> There's a snake. A snake. Oh my gosh. Creepy. Oh, I'm loving all this foliage though. It's so cute. All right. So it appears we can walk across this bridge, but there is also another thing over here. Let's clear the path with the machete, see what we get. Um, I doubt we'll get, we're going to see anything too intense uh, with the map. All right, so here we go. We're going to go through it. So your sim automatically goes through it once they're finished clearing it. You don't have the option to like stay back. Um, and then you kind of just have to wait to see what happens. <clears throat> Kitty's forging through the jungle when she almost trips over a large, strange-looking egg just lying there on the jungle floor. Who knows what type of creature inside? What should they do? Examine the egg. Um, poke the egg with a flower. Well, let's poke the egg. Wait, I don't want to lose the flower. I need the flower in case I get stung. So let's just leave the egg alone. Kitty leaves the egg behind. She notices some rustling in the shrubs nearby. A giant creature lunges out and heads... And heads out, spewing fire at Kitty. She runs to safety and avoids getting singed. Okay, so there's a little fire event. That's kind of cool. You know, kind of immerses you a little more. A swarm of bees is descending on Kitty. How do I stop that? With the flower. <gasps> this is so cool. Look at her. So what, is she going to fight him off? Oh, they're attracted to the flower. Okay, so it's good. Too bad we only had one of those. So hopefully this doesn't happen again. It looks like we found an excavation site. Oh, there's a little plane over here. That's really cool. Oh, it's like gone down in the in the area. What is this? Uh, hit the high point. Reaching new heights can make me feel like they're accomplishing anything from reaching a high point in the jungle. So we're kind of getting some archaeology skill here. 
I wonder if we're going to actually get anything cool from this. Who knows? Um, we just got the archaeology skill, so you really just don't know where that's going to head. So I'm noticing after fast forwarding for some time, there's no, oh, okay. I was like, there's no completion ring around that. So what did we get? Artifact shaped dirt clump. So I guess later we can take that to the table and see what we got. We can open up this treasure chest. What are we doing? Don't lay down. We're trying to see what type of treasure we got here. What did we get? Unauthenticated uh, Omiscan mask. Nice. Let's excavate this site too. I want to try to get a few items so whenever we go to the archaeology table we're able to tell what's going on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have headline effects turned off. I'm wondering if you get a headline effect from excavating. I guess we'd have to find... Okay, here's another area that we can check out. Okay, so I can't tell if this is for the archaeology skill or if it's the process. It's probably not the progress of the site. What did we get here? Chaos relic base. Oh, we got a base to a relic. And then we got a fossil rock. Let's extract this fossil, I guess. I've done that before. What do you get? Fossilized crocodile jaw. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, wait, it's becoming nighttime? Pretty spooky stuff. So it looks like this might be like kind of a dead end. Like we really can't, wait. No, we really can't go any further. Probably can't go up into the ruins. Um, it looks like you just kind of have to go back the way you came. And it looks like we could probably go across this bridge. Let's go here, I guess. We have another pit. Oh, there's a snake. Guys, I don't know how safe all this is. It looks like we can travel up here. There's a bush that you could probably empty your bladder in so you don't have bladder failure. And then we are going to clear this final path with the machete. I don't want to do too much of this because I still want to leave a lot of surprises for you guys. Um, that's why I'm kind of only doing it. Oh, flirty from this waterfall. <gasps> Whoa, I didn't even realize this waterfall was here. That is so cool. And look at how small my sim looks compared to it. <gasps> that's amazing. I love that. I wonder if during the daytime, that's where the, um, the actual rainbow is. So we're clearing this path. Like I said, this is the last path we're going to clear. What's happening? Oh my god. There's something in the air. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the air. Uh, bit of lightning insulation powder. She, oh my gosh. <gasps> She's gotten shocked, guys. Buzz. How unfortunate. But she's okay so far. She's just dazed. And I guess if she gets shocked again, we'll actually end up being... We'll get killed. We'll die. Abandoned pack. Kitty stumbles on appears to be an abandoned pack. Um, I don't want to use my machete. Well, I guess it was the last one we were going to go to. Okay. Kitty stumbles upon what appears to be an abandoned campsite. Clearly, a previous adventure has been through here, and there's a number of remains by the small fire, an old tattered knapsack. There still may be something valuable inside, or something dangerous. Search using machete. Kitty decides to put some distance between herself and the bag, slashes open with a machete. A poison scorpion crawls out of the bag, scampers away to the jaw of the gold. Kitty digs and remains a pack and finds some useful gear inside. And another. Oh! The bees! The bees! Wow, and then it looks like there's a lot of options for places you could go. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, all the fireflies. I love that. So, oh my gosh, it actually looks like there is a many options of places you can go. Let's go over here. Maybe we can look out at how amazing all this is. Look how small our sim is compared to everything. Okay, so this is amazing. Oh my gosh, look how deep this fall would be. What if there was an option to jump in the water? Look how small your sim is compared to everything you can see. That's amazing. So I think for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can go home, travel home, um, and work on our archaeology table. So let's check out some of these new rooms we have here. 
Um, it looks like we have a cozy cocina, which is kitchen in Spanish. I know that much. Um, and then I don't know if there's anything else. Filters, packs. Let's go into the jungle adventure pack. All right, so it appears we got a few things. We have kind of like a sunroom. We have what appears to be a living room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. Okay, so I don't know if this is all the items, um, but this is sure as heck a lot. Like this is definitely a new fridge, classic modern fridge. Um, it looks like we have some new cabinets. Like these look awesome. Um, Salvadorian cabinet. I love, love, love the tile, the stove. We got some new rugs. Is this new? Yes, this is new. We also have some, oh yes, shelving units. You can get one that's empty or one that is the same. It looks like we have a few color options in all of these items. It can be orange, blue. Um, these can't be too wild. Pretty tame, but you can get them green. All these colors, just basic wood colors. The fridge comes in a, ooh, a fun mint. I'm gonna probably be using that for my not so berry challenge. Um, you got red, yellow. I love the addition to the new fridges. We have some wall hanging tapestry, which is amazing if I do say so myself. I love this. Um, we got some new chairs, new tables, um, a little basket here, which looks like one of the custom content baskets I actually had. Looks like we have an outdoor sitting area with some new windows. I don't know if these are new, actually. Yes, these are new. Looks like we actually got a few new windows. Let's see if I can put up a wall somewhere. So that's nice. Does it have a pattern on the inside? Yes. So the shutters are on the inside. Wait, are they supposed to be on the inside? I think so. I don't know. Um, but then you also have one that's like appears to be more closed off. Oh, yeah, in case they are closed. So yes. They're supposed to open from the outside. That's very interesting, a little dynamic there. We have a few more interesting windows. We've seen that one, this one, that one, and then it looks like we have those. So those are actually pretty cool. What is this? Another window, nice. Okay, so let's put it back to daytime. I don't think it was ever at daytime, to be honest. Put these walls down. We have a lot to look at, it's a little overwhelming. So what is this? A treasure chest, you can buy a treasure chest. <gasps> I wonder if you could store stuff in there, that'd be awesome. Um, we have a new sofa, a new chair, some new plants it looks like, some new jungle ferns. It looks like we actually have a lot of new plants. Um, some bar stuff, some chairs. Oh, an archeology span table is what that looks like over there. We have a bed, some new um, art. I have put these windows here, those aren't supposed to be there. Some new art, it appears to be like a relic that's they repaired with a freezer bunny in it, of course. Oh my gosh, these doors are beautiful. So those, those are nice. We got a few new doors actually. We have a single door, we have an archway, and then a bigger archway, and then a very cute um, garden archway. And I wonder what colors all this stuff comes in. It looks like the doors can come in bright colors. Everything is either very bright or very muted, as you guys can see as I'm scrolling over some of these items here to tell what they are. <clears throat> it appears we have a bathroom here with a brand new shower. Yes, I love the shower. <gasps> so cute. Um, some plants on the ground, new rugs. Is this a new sink? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these are new. They have the new color pattern, so I'm gonna assume that they are. And then we have this new mirror here, which I pointed out earlier uh, at the little cabin. So you guys could just kind of get a nice little look of the new items that we have in the game here. I could probably go to, um, Build, no. This filter items and put it up to the jungle adventure pack. See, this is cute. This is definitely what I'm here for. Some flower clusters. <gasps> so cute. And they probably change colors too, of course. So you can have red or white. I love that. That's nice. Um, so these are all just like flowers. Looks like you can have like a giant hanging thing and then these, okay. I, this is the, if this isn't the best description you've ever seen, I don't know what is. And it looks like they've added some lily pads for the pools, which I think is awesome. Oh, these are actually in a cluster of items, not separate. I don't know how I feel about that. I would probably put some plants in between them with the move objects item just to, you know, 
make sure everything was, you know, Gucci. So let's see, we have a single bed, we have the double bed, we have, okay, so this is actually a new bush. I thought it was the same, um, but it's not. We have some stools, we have some chairs. Oh, this is a nice little outside bench. Very cute, it comes in a wide variety of colors. Cabinets, I like this. This is gonna add a lot of good decorating detail, this little cabinet thing here. Um, hallway tables. All that good stuff. Uh, rest of the room's pedestal. I'm not sure what you do with that or if it just hangs out or what. We got a new bathtub, archaeology table, a bar, uh, a new restroom. I'm assuming that's what this is. What is this? Oh, it's a food stand. They just let me put a food stand on my lot. Wall ruins. Ooh, so I can make the walls look cracked. This actually looks really nice, this detail. Because I know in the other games, like in the vampires ones, they added details to the wall that made it look like um the wall the paint was chipping off but i didn't really think it looked good this i think looks really good um we have little hutches for over windows broken pots pots that are not broken cluster pots all the pots oh we have a little bone skeleton man here he's here to hang out can he change colors Oh, okay, so just regular or he can be the sparkly blue one we have the signs that warned us about things earlier more pots I love pots and then oh wow if you want like monuments or totem poles you can have those um more decorative pieces Salvadorian throw rug very nice oh that's fun freezer bunny <laughs> memorial thing what is this a uh, cabinet oh which I guess you could place your treasures in that'll be fun um, and then we have some more wall art. So overall, the build stuff, super awesome. I love it all. I think it's really great. Um, can I actually open? Let's see if we can open this. So yes, you can store things in here. You can store things from your treasures, I think. I don't know. It's not actually letting me put anything in there. Uh, maybe it's because we're dazed. Let's see if we can um, pull out our archaeology table over here. And let's uncover an artifact. Let's see what this is, what's in this dirt-shaped clump that we have going on here it's kind of late at night so i'm wondering if we should sleep but it's okay you know we're just here for the gameplay right <laughs> hey don't mind me we're just you know doing some archaeology skills over here while we're pretty dazed so this interaction is interesting i love the addition to the new table you could put together artifacts and you could take them apart i think um you can uncover things and then overall your archaeology skills should be growing I'm not really sure how to get a Salvador Salvadorian culture skill. I guess if you read books, it looks like. Sims who are passionate about the Salvadorian culture immerse themselves into it. They're less likely to make awkward comments and more likely to nail those tricky dance moves. Salvadorian culture skills built with socializing yes. with locals. And Salv Ugh, sorry, guys. Yeah. Long morning. <laughs> Salvadorian culture is built by socializing with locals in Salvador, whatever, tasting local cuisine and interacting with local vendors. And then the archaeology skill. <clears throat> Some sims are driven by the search of knowledge and treasures lost to time. Spending a little bit of time in the dirt can be very rewarding. Archaeology skill um, built by digging up, authenticating, and studying ancient artifacts increases the skill and unlocks new interactions on the archaeology table, which is nice. Okay. So let's see if we have any new reward points. I don't see anything immediately. I'm just like wondering if there's like culture nut or something. I could probably help you with that. Um, needs no one. <laughs> never needs to socialize. Wow. So I know that these two were added forever full and never weary instead of seldom sleepy to make your sims never have to eat or sleep again. <laughs> Those are going to be useful when my super sim challenge because this adventure, guys, this adventure could probably kill my sim. Look at this. Kitty has completed child technician. So we have completed the very first section of our thing. So we need to achieve level for the archaeology skills survey for a dig pile. How do I do that? And authenticate three artifacts. Send away for authentication. Let's do that with one. Same with this one. Fuse with, oh, I guess I can't really do anything with that. Can I send this away for authentication? What about this? Send away for authentication. Let's make sure they're not fake. Um, and then I guess I will just see you guys in the morning so we can kind of tell what's gonna happen with that. Okay, <clears throat> so our mail has just been delivered. So let's see if we can get these mail and see if some of these got authenticated. Oh. 
Wow, <laughs> turquoise mask of cost, quality poor, rarity uncommon. But it must be good. <gasps> Golden mask of cost, excellent quality. Um, it's rare. Oh my gosh, eight hundred fifty dollars! Look at that, guys. On my first attempt, we got the gold. We got the gold. So they're authentic, then, right? <clears throat> The artifact castle is pleased to inform you that they have verified the artifact as genuine osmosican antiquity. But why is this not? Oh, I have to authenticate them myself. Okay. Well, guys, that's it for this little bit of portion of The Sims 4 Jungle Adventure. If you guys want to explore this for yourselves, by all means, go for it. Um, I will be doing a giveaway for it, so read the description in the comments for that. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. Cool fridge view, girl. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. There will be much more to come. You guys can see me explore these worlds on my Super Sim Challenge, and I might start like a little new Let's Play, little mini series. Thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>